Fox 29 News in HD is sponsored by X1 from Xfinity. Changing the way you experience TV. Philadelphia's leaders say they are chugging right along with COVID vaccines and now they're ready to move into the next phase, which means a whole bunch more people will be eligible starting Monday. I'm Shana Humphreys. I'm Jason Martinez as we learn some encouraging news about how long the vaccines last. But first, Alex, this move to 1C in Philly is a big deal for a lot of people. Yeah, Jason, it absolutely is. And this is coming just one day after Pennsylvania is saying they'll be opening up vaccine eligibility to any adults over the age of 16. Now, Philly somewhat following suit, at least moving on to their next step, which is opening up to category 1C. Sanitation workers, postal workers, maintenance and utility workers all eligible this Monday to get the vaccine in Philadelphia. The city says other groups in 1C will soon follow. It's been four weeks since Philly started phase 1B, and it continues on the goal to have all adults eligible for the vaccine by May 1st. The scientific community is moving forward with it. People are optimistic, so let's just hope we keep going that way. The announcement coming the same day, Pfizer said research now shows its vaccine is effective for at least six months, double the amount of time originally thought. This is great news. This is the first like large scale confirmatory data that we think vaccine immunity will last a long time. This data from the study is also helping the scientific community make new predictions. This is very, very good news and suggests that actually we if we do need boosters, it will be a couple years down the road. This is not going to be something where we really need to worry about this. Um, the exception is for the variants. Dr. John Wary with University of Pennsylvania says another important takeaway is that Pfizer vaccine can protect against the variant first found in South Africa. But it looks like people were very well protected. Still small amounts of data, so we still need more information, but right now it's very, very promising. So what about other vaccines? Do they protect against variants? I think we can be optimistic that we're going to see a similar picture from Moderna, but we definitely don't know yet. So Jason, Dr. Weary also told us that there's a Moderna update being worked on right now, which essentially means they're altering the Moderna vaccine and a booster to make sure it can protect against those variants. So two big pieces of news today. Philadelphia opening up to a lot more folks and that vaccine is being worked on to get stronger. And the one that we were worried about with a new strain, well, it seems to be protecting from it. So big stories coming out of Philadelphia today. Alex George, thank you very much. And breaking news right now, Sky Fox just over a scene where you can see police lights there on Greenbrier Road in Washington Township. That's where early reports are coming in that a person was hit by a car. Now, right now, we don't know how that person is doing. We'll continue to work and look into that, and we'll keep you updated as soon as we get more information. New details tonight in the Walter Wallace Jr. case. His family's attorney.